kind of nervous. I mean, I've given blood like in the hospital for like I'm um, trying to think like for an injury but not like this it's just kind of weird uh, I f it feels great I mean if I can contribute to saving someone's life in any way I mean, this is a this is a simple way of doing it Like, I'm kind of nervous, but I know it's for like a good cause, so it makes it better. Like, that makes me like really excited to do it, just because I know it's like giving back and like helping who need, people that need it. Is this your first time giving blood? No, it's not. Okay, how do you feel right now? Pretty cold, pretty empty. I'm alright. How does it feel that you could potentially be saving someone's life? Good. Good. <laughs> Were you nervous going into it? Oh, okay. Were you nervous going into it? No, not at all. I wanted to do this thing. Oh, I've been doing this for about 12 years now. It's like one of the best jobs I ever had. There's not too many jobs that really affect the community like we do, so I'm just proud to be a part of it. To come on in, we need you, we need you. I mean, seriously, um, our whole blood that we collect today, or how many other units we collect today, it may have a shelf life of 42 days, but realistically, it might be gone in 48 hours or less. So, so the need is always there. <laughs> she, she asked me what's the craziest thing I've seen. Well, I'm a Grey's Anatomy fan, so can't nothing get past that, so. Um, I don't wanna say it's the craziest, but we have had a situation where it was like a chain of reaction. We had a donor here, 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 here. This one started feeling sick. It trickled over to this one, to this one, to this one. And I'm like, got bio bags all on the donor. So it was, it was kind of crazy. <laughs>